Hi, it's me again, Pete Savin, uh, walking out with uh, the legendary Fell Ranger, and uh, we're climbing Score Fell today, uh, and uh, one or two other peaks en route. The weather is looking good, photographs have been taken, so uh, I'll let you know how it gets on as the day progresses. Well, we've started to climb up into uh, onto Lingmore. And I'm looking back across the uh, Wasdale Fells and to Yew Barrow and back down onto Wasdale Lake and then out to the Irish Sea and then over to the, uh, the Screes. A truly magnificent day today. We have Mark on the skyline there photographing for the new Lakeland Fell Ranger books. So Mark, what can we uh, what can we see from uh, Lingmore here? Well, fantastic. We're below Goat Crags at this point. We've swung round off the main path. Um, and we can look over this direction towards Sea Talon and uh, Yao Barrow, to be pronounced it correctly, and Red Pike, and just see the top of Haycock. And sweeping round Mouse, Mo Mossdale, uh, top of Pillar's a bit obscured. Uh, but you can see a great deal of Kirkfell and Ilkgill, which is the dark ravine there and rising up to Beckhead and Gavel Nays running up onto Great Gable. Uh, I see Little Hellgate and, and Great Hellgate. You can see the red screes that define yeah. them. And through the gap, I'm being tantalized. And at the moment, until I get a bit higher, I'm not quite certain what I'm looking at, which is great fun when you can see something you're not certain of. But that's one of the pleasures of fell walking. You, you might think you know everything, but sometimes you get an angle that you don't quite tune into. We'll see where we get to, and I'll pinpoint that shortly. We've just been over the top of Ling Mel, which is a fabulous connoisseur's fell. All the leamings, the thousands of Greckles, <laughs> people walking up hollow stones onto Skullfell Pike or up the corridor route. However, from here, we're taking a different route from the crowd. <laughs> um, I'm taking a route up off uh, the corridor route from Lingmel Col corridor route up uh, Greta Gill behind uh, Round Howe, which is a little knoll there, and up uh, through a breach in the escarpment onto Great End. Uh, a, a seldom used route, a natural easy route, and uh, minimises scree, and it enables me to get onto the main summits without the crowds and on easy ground. No pass on the ground, which is a splendid little expedition. Still on the climb, uh, now heading up um, back a great end. And uh, there's a the little bit of round howby behind me as well. So um, progress has been made. The cloud rolls in and rolls out, but uh, apart from that, it's a great day. Well, somewhere out there, the goal of today, Scorfell Pike is uh, dead ahead. So we know it's there. And you might just bearing into the glue. It's popping out every so often, so uh, we know where it is. It's just a matter of going and find it. Final leg onto the summit of Scorfell Pike. And the cloud's just passing over. We go to basically know where we're going. down and one of the toughest days I think I've done in an awful long time about 3,000 feet of descent down uh, near sheer grass slope so I'm ready for a beer catch you later